Hello everyone and welcome to another Nebulous Fleet Command video. This time we have a different fleet. Last time we checked out the light cruisers. This time we check out my favorite fleet so far. My small little frigate missile spam. It's six frigates and one corvette. And it has a simple setup. The corvette up here is there for spotting and the, uh, helping out the other ships to find the enemy. And then we have two ships in each task force of three ships with a hell of a lot of missiles. And then the th third ship is a spotting ship. And that we have two times. So two, ta two task forces with three ships each. Two missile spams and two electronic warfare and spotter ships to help out the missiles as we use squall and gale missiles to try to find the enemy with those and hit them with ships that got highlighted by our radar system and our spotters our spotlights so yeah, this is the fleet. Let's see how it does in action. So here we are. On the 4v4 with our missile fleet. On pillars and we... Gotta be careful. So let's see. Where is our teammates going? Where are our teammates going? This ship is supposed to capture our A, spot something, get the hell out. And we might be able to fly into E as well and then get the hell out there. Without the rest of our fleet, we need to capture two points here. And I need to ready up. And here we go. Our fleet comes in. We have one American group with Thunderbolt, Era Cobra, and Hellcat. And then we have Spitfire, Hurricane, and Typhoon you are. over here. Let's go towards E. And up in the skies, the Fieselstorch, our German scout ship. Force laid in. And it's supposed to go in there. Oh, that's not Let quite a good roll. course. Eh? We're reading you. Repositioning. And get you in there. That one is way better. Send traffic. That one works out as well. Send your traffic. And with you guys, try to put maybe a position where we can hit B. They want to hit D, then push mid. Okay. So I want to get into a position where I can support them. Without getting bullied too much. Force laid in. So, yeah. Fiesel Storch moving in. Fiesel Storch moving in. Over here, I a lot of ships of our all of our, our allied ships moving around here, including one heavy cruiser here. I think, yeah, one heavy gun cruiser with a beam as well. Why is the camera working so weird? Um, up here, battleship 
the tachyon. The beams, beams, beams. Map there. What do we have? Light cruisers? Nope. Another battleship fleet with guns this time. Receiving. Is Lustrich is moving in? Have we spotted anything yet? No. Moving in. Turn off radio. Have a bit less signature. Minus 10% signature due to that. If you turn off radar, we go down. 34% but that also means we are blind so maybe not the best idea now let's try it this way anyway Standing by. once these ships try to move on to E these ones move up slowly but surely Waiting for your orders, Commander. controlling seven ships not that easy enemy comes in with some destroyers i would expect beams the way these fly flying towards d question is are they on the outside yeah they're on the out outer ring so our big fleet should be able to deal with them if there's only these four if the enemy is split up like this might work out quite well for us. Need to be careful in the center. Over here, quite a couple of ships engaging onto the keystones now. Keystones are a bit out of position. Getting jammed, locking getting on. locked on. Repositioning. Get our position a bit out of here. Already prepared to just run out of there. After we capture A. Also put maneuver on evade. Taking fire. Ah, we're taking fire already. Oh no, we are already getting bo going ballistic, aren't we? We have no damage control teams on this. How is our reactor already... What the hell happened there? We got one hit in? Okay, okay, we, we got... We got quite a couple more hits in now. A couple of missiles hitting us there, so... Now it doesn't matter. We captured our point. Enemy ships here are way too far away, and they're also getting demolished. Yeah, it was risky with the Wieselstuch. Waiting orders. Was a risky move. We got punished for it. But try to lie in wait here. Now, like if anything wants to try to move back into Alpha. But Finding a position where we can get tighter to the rock formation. This formation. Let's move this forward. A lot of shells coming in here, a lot of our ships targeting their ships. These keystones are in a hell of a lot of trouble. Pretty sure they won't get too close. Yeah, especially as the Tachyon now also tags them. Ooh, missiles flying. But our from the formation of our allies should be good enough to stop all of these. Yeah. These missiles should not get through. And with that, these keystones. Uh, in a world of pain. Way too little maneuvering for a fleet like this. With us controlling Delta now. 
This should be good. We already have two points, so we already score better than the enemy. And unlike Steel Division, for everyone who is here from Steel Division, is you, it doesn't matter if the enemy also has points. You take for your points. So it's not the difference you get per tick. It's every tick you get points for the amount of points you have. So you can even win if you only have two points, if you're already ahead of the enemy in the end, for example, and the enemy has three points, you still will tick. So the enemy needs to later on control all your points for stopping you from getting there. I mean, we're already at 56 points. Goal, I think, in this game is 1000, if I remember correctly. That was the setting. Could be 1500. I think it's 1000. And all five seconds you get two points per point you captured. So we get six points all five seconds now. So we're getting there somewhat quickly now. And yeah, no need to interfere with this. Can keep my missiles. As my missile loadouts. I have quite a lot, obviously, per ship. Like nearly 100 missiles per missile cruiser here. But like 80 missiles per ship but you obviously don't want to waste them on something that already gets killed anyways rather find better targets enemy has b the enemy never took their c point which is an oversight i think a big one send traffic the enemy is securing his own atlas oh what? What is that Atlas? Am I this blind? Okay. Center traffic. Don't I see Atlas? Oh no, I don't see Atlas from here. Okay, that's why. This formation is a bit blind because there are 6,000 point, uh, points of here. Yeah, our allies should be able to move in now. We have 80 points advantage. Enemy now will get 3 points themselves though, so they will cap, uh, catch up 2 points every 5 seconds. So. Okay, but we got our first target. Let's try to hit that with some easy. Reporting. Spotlights and stuff. Jam it up as well. Okay, so it has PTDs. How many PTDs does it have? Well, it's actually quite well worst in the PTD game. Ooh, okay. Ever so slightly we didn't get them. Waiting for your orders, Commander. Buzzer active. Standing by. Missile launch. We are in the jam. Missile launch. Standing by. Now we're being jammed. Okay. I need to move away. I need to move closer to my allies over here. Trying to... Oh, fuck. Uh, this is not good. This is not good. Small fleet hitting us hard. Could need help behind this formation. Ooh, a lot of missiles coming from everywhere. 
And yeah, I'm not supposed to be this close. I went too close. I didn't stay far enough behind my allies. So I'm in trouble. My ship's now dying up here in this formation. So I lost another one of my ships. These are super class cannons. They can't defend themselves. And yeah, opening fire there on his one ship was too. But I should have kept around behind my allies. I shouldn't move alone with this fleet. Standing by. Lesson learned once more. And a hell of a lot of sprinters up there. Hell of a lot of sprinters. A lot of missiles flying toward that range. <clears throat> Incoming fire. Okay. She can't take any more. Abandon ship. More missiles fired into our already dead ship. That's fine. Oh. This is not. This swarm of missiles most likely might overwhelm this battleship. Well, so far, pretty good maneuvering. Got hit like three times or so. Gets a Pavel Noor hits now. As it's needed to maneuver a bit to the rear and upwards, I would say. Would have been the best move. But a lot of missiles hitting the ship. Awaiting orders, Commander. And it's a lot of missiles flying everywhere. From the enemy, so the enemy is playing missile spam as well. One of my ships went up in flames. Nuclear explosion there. The beam ship not too helpful in this scenario. Well, it could hit this range over here if it sees it. Beam turret is trying to get there, I think. But over here, the ship struggles more and more. A lot of missile salvos flying towards it. And the jamming is real. Standing by. Oh my god. Okay, we have so many missiles now that the game decides to slow down and this time he will not be fine I'm pretty sure he will not be fine this time yeah no Sheffy's coming around this time the feet will get heavily hurt There's just so many missiles flying everywhere. Or rather, all towards that one ship. Rains over here gets beamed. Ship over here engages some keystones. Oh no, gets engaged by some keystones. And this battle is not going well and I'm not but taking in it whatsoever. I was completely out of position this whole game. I'm not gonna lie. Didn't help my team out whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I'm too far away to fire missiles on these ships, for example, now. Even if I would come around. Wouldn't be too well. These printers over here. Wow, how many printers are there? It's quite a couple. And I'm not quite fast enough to get them. Send your traffic. Missile tube clear. Receiving. Missile is away. Come on. 
Let me click that chip. Jammer online. Buzzer active. Jammer's hot. Uh. Stopping Stop. Stop. Okay. He got the fire onto his position now. Moving. Now missiles start to hit that ship now, hopefully. Yeah. No? Well, I don't know. It looks like it got hit. Yeah, gets hit. This one got obliterated. Center traffic. Jammer's hot. Missile away. Launching missiles. Missile away. One spotlight. How long? How much longer can you go? Go for quite a bit longer. I'm style is going lower because more and more missiles coming out everywhere. Standing by. Missile is away. Yeah, that's a waste. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Ready. Jammer's hot. Acknowledged. Jammer online. Come on. What light? Commence jamming. Commence jamming. What the hell? Oh, miss out, please. At least the last salvo. Center traffic. No. Awaiting orders, Commander. Okay. Standing by. What the hell? That's too far away now. Shit. He's moving too fast. Damn, his fleet is fast. And he has a one PT uh, point defense sprinter. His fleet is good. Printer getting hit hard here. But waiting for your orders, Commander. Well, let's try to fly towards B. Let's at least try to capture points for the team. Can't do much about it. This beam destroyer is disengaging, but I think we lost most of our ships here. Yeah. Tachyon also down. Yeah, this is GG. I came in too late. Printers got us everywhere. So, yeah, we got missiles with our missile fleet. And I didn't do well enough here so yeah can see sprinter missile fleets also quite capable so yeah time to surrender here All hands ship. gotta accept when you have lost no point in playing this onward So, yep. 
enemy got me here. Hopefully we will get them next time. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like. And if you have a good fleet suggestion, leave them down below. So I can maybe build a better fleet that actually wins the game here. <laughs> I mean, Light Cruiser fleet worked out last time. Would it have been a tough matchup against this here as well? Would have been able to shoot at Corvettes if it would have gotten out onto them, but also my missile defenses on those ships are not amazing, so would have been quite tough there as well. Would have had to do with a lot of chefs. That's it. I hope to see you all in the next one, and bye-bye.